Hello, I'm Reed Chatham, the stenograph representative for Oklahoma and Texas. I talk to reporters on a regular basis that tell me they have bad audio and they just don't have time to figure it out. And since this seems to be an issue for so many reporters, I decided this might be a good topic to cover. I really appreciate your time and hope this information helps you improve the audio in your case catalog software. With today's technical advantages, there's just no reason not to have excellent audio. Good audio makes such a big difference in the amount of time you spend editing and improves your final work product. With that in mind, let's take a look at some things that you need to check if your audio isn't as good as you want. You are only as good as your hardware, your software, and settings. And if any one of these items are inferior or incorrectly set, your audio will be greatly affected. The very best way to determine what is causing poor audio is to make sure all your settings are correct and to try different equipment to see if the quality improves. I'm gonna talk about the items that Cinegraph offers, but I would recommend that you talk to other reporters, borrow their equipment that you know works well, and test it on your computer. I also recommend reporters do their research on the many court reporting Facebook groups that exist. You can search previous discussions to see what other reporters are using and recommend. So now let's take a closer look at the individual components and see how you can make improvements. One of the most common factors affecting your recording quality is the microphone. It's rare to find a, a computer with a great internal microphone, but that's what many reporters rely upon. We recommend using an external microphone that plugs into your computer. We also recommend that you do not have a microphone positioned close to your laptop monitor and fan. It's probably not a good idea to put the microphone next to a cell phone either. The microphone we sell is an AudioSync ultra high sensitivity microphone that does not need a battery. This microphone is used for ultra high quality audio recording with Case Catalyst, Luminex, and other writers capable of recording audio. A six foot extension cable is included with this purchase and our price is $129. The next item to consider that will greatly impact your playback quality is the headset you're using. Not only should it have great quality, but it should be comfortable. We sell the Plain Quiet Platinum headphones, which are noise reduction headphones for up to 20 decibels of active noise reduction. It has a four foot detachable cord and a nice storage case. This headphone is only $79. Now, we've looked at how microphones and headsets can make a difference. Let's look at some settings on your computer. We will start by making sure we have the audio settings for your computer set up correctly. From the desktop of your computer, move your mouse to the lower right corner and find the icon that looks like a speaker. If you hover your mouse over the icon, it will actually say speakers. Often this icon is located to the left of the clock. Right click on the speaker icon and then left click on recording devices. A window will appear displaying all the recording devices on your computer. In this example, we're using the front mic jack on the computer. It is set as the default device as indicated by the green check mark. To adjust the recording level, you're going to double click on your device. This will open the properties window of your microphone. Click on the levels tab at the top. Click and drag the volume slider all the way to the right so the volume is at 100%. We do recommend you test the setting with your current microphone. For example, with a high sensitivity microphone like the one we sell, 100% may be too much. Also, if you have a microphone boost option, it's best to keep it at around 20 decibels if possible. Once you've made these adjustments, you can click Apply and OK to close the property window. Then click OK under the sound window to close it. Now you can test real time and make sure your audio recording um, is recording properly. There is another setting that may need to be adjusted, and that would be the audio format in Case Catalyst. While you're in Catalyst, you would first go into Options in the Translate screen. Select the real-time tab at the top, and then you'll see the audio options below that. In the audio options, you will see an option named codec. A codec is the way the audio is saved as a digital recording. Different codecs have different compression and file sizes. The more, correct, or the more compression a codec uses, the smaller the file size. However, the smaller file size usually comes at the expense of overall audio quality. 
we've added several higher, higher quality codecs in version 16 and higher. The best codec for your real-time session depends on whether you plan to transfer the audio to another computer, and if so, what method you will use for that transfer. This chart shows the size of an audio file at four hours and eight hours. If you're planning to use the same computer for both recording and playback, then you can use any of the codecs. Of course, this is also dependent upon how much hard drive space you have available. This would also be true if you were going to transfer the audio to a different computer using some type of media, such as a flash drive. Before selecting a particular Kodak for an actual job, we would advise you to test each Kodak using your hardware to determine which Kodak sounds best. If you plan to transfer the audio recording to another system via the internet, it's very important to consider the available bandwidth of your internet connection. While wired internet connections may have you know, sufficient upload speeds to support the larger codec size, wireless, like Wi-Fi or cellular hotspot, can seldom transfer a file recorded at a larger 80 megabytes an hour size in an acceptable amount of time. The larger the file, the longer it will take. Plus, with a cellular internet connection, transferring an audio file can very quickly use up your available data on your data plan. As you see in the chart above, a full day of audio recorded at the largest size would be nearly three gigabytes of data. A file of that size could take 12 hours or longer to transfer via a Wi-Fi connection. As with audio recording, you should test the codecs on your hardware that you'll be using for the recording and playback. Record a short sample using each codec. You may experience different levels of quality with the same codec on different hardware. One tip for the codec settings would be to try the 58 megabytes an hour codec instead of the 80 megabyte. The difference between the quality levels at the 58 megabyte and the 80 megabyte rates are insignificant on most hardware. And a 58 megabyte an hour file will transfer more quickly than the 80 megabyte and should be a great improvement over the other two smaller codecs. On this slide, I have an audio file embedded. And I'm going to play that for you so you can hear the difference between the 15 megabyte file size and then on the next slide I'll be playing the 58 megabyte file size. Members of the jury, the evidence and the arguments in this case have been completed and I will now instruct you as to the law. The law that applies in this case is stated in these instructions and it is your duty to follow all well of them. You must not single out certain instructions and disregard others. When I use the word he in these instructions, I mean a male or a female. It is your duty to determine the facts and determine them only from the evidence in the case. You are applied On this slide, I have the 58 megabyte file size. Most people agree the 58 megabyte codec gives you a much better audio quality, but listen for yourself. Members of the jury. The evidence and the arguments in this case have been completed, and I will now instruct you as to the law. The law that applies to this case is stated in these instructions, and it is your duty to follow all of them. You must not single out certain instructions and disregard others. When I use the word he in these instructions, I mean a male or a female. It is your duty to determine the fact and determine. If you've tested your hardware and adjusted your settings, and your audio still isn't at the quality you need, need, you may have an issue with the sound card in your computer. If so, we have an inexpensive solution with the StarTech USB sound card. It plugs into a USB port and then you plug your microphone and headset into this device. It's only $25 and if you purchase it from Stenograph, we will help you get it set up. I hope that you found this information to be useful and that it helps you improve your audio quality. Good audio really does make your job easier. If you have any follow-up questions, please feel free to contact me. My information is listed on the screen. I appreciate your time. Thanks, and take care.